So, a lot of you are wondering how to use the new systems that I added in version 0.9. You may have noticed you can't just select a fighter or a target the way you used to and shoot a missile at them. You have to use either heat seeking, radar, laser, GPS, or anti radiation systems depending on the type of the missile. Turrets can also use the radar or the targeting pod, but I'll get to that later. For this first video, I'll show you how to use the radar. For this little surface to air missile unit, um, I have a bunch of AIM-120s, which are radar-guided missiles, and this TWS locking radar, which has a scanning radar as well as a locking radar. Now to turn it on, you can just right-click and hit toggle, but I also, had, I also added um, a modules section to the weapon manager, and you can use this to turn on and off different modules. So we're using the locking radar, and you can see here that there's two icons here. Well, you're in the middle, and then the circle up here is a friendly, and the square down there is an enemy. You can zoom in using the range plus or range minus buttons. So at this range, it shows five kilometers, and that's the distance for this outer circle. And so the inner circle will be two and a half kilometers. So it's pretty simple. You just find a target on this radar, and you click on it to lock it. And you can see, if I turn off the labels, uh, this target has a green square around it, showing that it's locked. Now if you lock up a friendly, you'll see a green X here. Now if I select a missile, the AIM-120, now all I have to do is just fire the missile. And you can see the missile is locking on. It says active down here and it has a time to impact. The AIM-120 is uh, more used for air-to-air, -air. so if it was any, f if the target was any further than five kilometers, it probably wouldn't make it out there very quickly. But this was a good hit. For aircraft, we have these ray domes, which are just radars hidden inside an aerodynamic nose cone. It works very similar to what I just showed you, but instead of it being a circle where it's scanning around in a full 360 degrees. Uh, this ray dome has a 120 degree cone of view in front of it and it's scanning left and right here. So if you see a target, let's turn around here. Alright, so I see a blip here and it's on the left and this is 20 kilometers so this would be 10 kilometers. Here, I zoom down to 10 kilometers so it's up here. And same thing, I just click on it and then it shows up here and it's showing up as a friendly. So at this range, let me switch teams, if you fire a missile it'll pretty much say active right away which means that the missile is using its own radar to track the target. The way AIM-120s work is until they get close enough to use their own radar uh, they're going to rely on your radar. So if I find this target out here and lock him up and fire, it doesn't say active down here, so if I lose the lock, the radar is, or the missile is just going to go dumb. So what I have to do is maintain the lock until the missile... Well, I lost it again. <laughs> Alright, for real this time. I'll maintain the lock until the missile goes active. And active, and now I can break off. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, I just missed. Alright, while I'm up here, I might as well show you heat seeking since it's pretty simple. You get this little circle here, and you drag it over the target, but it has a very limited range, so let's see how close I have to get before it'll lock on. It depends on the heat uh, emitting from the vessel's engines or anything hot. So the hotter the engine, the better. There, locked on. And then there's a, a dot out here that shows you where I want to point to shoot, because that that'll lead the target properly. And there's a hit. Something I just added to the last update is 
an input settings page for the settings window. So as you can see here, I bound a bunch of keypad keys for the radar. And what I can do is, if I don't want to use the mouse for everything, say I'm using like a joystick setup, if I use the slew commands, this little cursor will appear here, and I can just drag it onto a target and then hit the lock button to lock it. Another way to lock onto a target instead of using the scanning mode is bore sight. And it'll bring up a circle up here, and you just drag it on to a target. Um, so the sensitivity and the ranges for the radars are not really balanced right now since this is just kind of the first iteration of the whole radar system. So over time these the effectiveness of each radar may change. As you can see this SAM site doesn't have a radar, but what it has is a data link receiver, or a radar data receiver. So I can hit data link down here and pick the SAM, which is the one over there that had a radar. And now I can see all the data that the radar is picking up. I can also use it to lock on things. So I'll just fire this. The aircraft radar can also use data link. So if I link to the SAM, it'll show me a full view around my vessel. And this is the cone in front that my actual radar has, but I can see a target behind me because it's being detected by the radar on the ground. You can still only lock things that are in front of you though. So you may be wondering what would make a vessel more or less detectable to a radar. The way it works is it has a little camera and it takes a little picture of the, of the vessel and it counts up all the black pixels. So it mostly just depends on the distance and the size of the vessel but it can also depend on which way it's pointing. Right now I have like a top-down view because it's turning so it's really um, giving back a good signal but if it's turning to the side it has a smaller uh, cross-section.